What's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here, and welcome back to another Unturned Mod Showcase. In today's showcase, we're going to be looking at three different helicopter packs. The first one is called Rain's AH-1 Cobra, the second one is called Nuclear Crocodile, and the third one is called Arthur's Civil Hueys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so the first mod that we're going to be looking at today is called Rain's AH-1 Cobra, and this Cobra has an ID of 18,002, so if you want to spawn it in, do the command slash give space 18,002. And basically, from what I'm able to tell, this thing looks absolutely amazing. I love the wings on the side, and I love the look of the blades, like they're actually like offset and stuff. A lot of helicopters aren't really good with the whole blade aspect. I think once I've even found a helicopter where the blades are like spinning sideways and, and stupid stuff like that. But this is a really nice looking helicopter, guys. Again, made by Rain. If you guys didn't know, Rain has made some really cool mods in the past that I've actually showed off. There was a tank mod a World War II Planes mod, and a bunch of other mods that I've showed off by him. And all of his mods are on point, dude. This is absolutely amazing. So we're going to hop inside, we're going to get in, shoot the gun, or fly it around, and show you guys what it handles like. So yeah, we're going to go and do that now. Okay guys, so one thing I do want to note, if you get in the F1 seat, which is the driver's seat, it's actually behind the passenger seat, which is pretty weird. I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, but you do drive behind the passenger seat. And since there is only one of us, there's only one of me, I'm not able to do this perfectly and show off how you shoot while you drive, but I can show you this. So whenever you're driving, this is what it looks like. You can't like turn your camera or anything, obviously. But if you were to hop into the first seat, or AKA the second seat, which is actually the gunner seat, this is what you're able to see. It's like the bottom of the helicopter with the gun sticking out. You can shoot the gun and everything, but you know, since I'm by myself, I don't have anybody to fly me around while I shoot. So I know it looks kind of weird right now, but I am gonna show you guys what this thing sounds like and how it shoots and everything. By the way, if you do wanna spawn in the ammo for this, you get a 250 round, uh, I think it's Gatling box. The ID for that is 18,007. So if you wanna spawn that in, do the command slash give 18,007. So we're gonna go and shoot this thing a couple of time shoot a tree or something i really do apologize for not being able to show you what it looks like while you're flying but again i don't have anybody who wants to help me for some reason nobody wants to help me this time of day but we're gonna aim at this tree right here and we're gonna shoot i'll show you guys what this sounds like okay so straight off the bat i noticed this thing has a really high fire rate like it spams a lot of bullets okay i'm gonna reload real fast 250 bullets we're gonna see how fast we can go through all these bullets we're gonna mow down a couple of trees too so let's go See, I know it does look really weird from down here, but this is absolutely amazing. It sounds perfect. It shoots perfect. I love the way it turns while you can fly and everything. Absolutely amazing, guys. A plus mod rain. Good job. So we're going to hop into the driver's seat now. We're going to take off, show you guys what it sounds like and stuff like that. It's a little bit quiet, but you should be able to hear it for the most part. Let's listen. So it kind of just sounds like a regular real life helicopter, nothing too fancy, no no weed eater or chainsaw sounds like I've heard in the past. Rain has definitely done a big improvement with the sounds. I'm not going to lie Rain, with some of your first mods the sounds were a little bit bad, but they're definitely a lot better now. Uh, here's the helicopter guys, it handles really well, I wish you could shoot while you're driving it, but I don't think that's really possible yet. Uh, but yeah guys, this is the first mod, and now we're going to move on to the second mod. Okay guys, so the second mod that we're going to be looking at today is called the Nuclear Crocodile, and this mod is made by Shazbot. Now, I have showed off one of Shazbot's mods in the past, I will link that one in the description below, but this is not what you think it is. It's not just like a, another, you know, old helicopter with a gun. This is a gun that drops a nuke. Yes, an actual nuke. Now, I do have to say, I don't really like the look of this helicopter, like, I don't really like it personally, that's just my personal opinion, but the amazing fact about this helicopter is that it drops a nuke. A real nuke. Like, I showed off a nuke mod in the past, like, earlier, whenever my channel was really small, it was a really cancerous video, it got like 100,000 views, but the whole time I'm just like yelling, I'm like, What's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a nuke mod. My dog just looked at me like I had two heads, but that's basically what I did the entire video. I yelled for some reason, I don't know why I did that. But we're going to go and hop inside this thing, I'm going to try to attempt to drop a nuke while I'm driving. Uh, this does require the use of the nuke mod, so you have to download that also along with this. So we're going to try to fly and drop a nuke at the same time. I don't think, I think it's going to be really hard. I do. I don't even know how to drop the nuke yet, but we're going to try it. Again, guys, there will be a link to this mod also in the description below. Let's go ahead and hop inside and I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Okay, it has a vanilla helicopter sounds. And again, this one, you also drive in the back seat. It's a little bit weird. I think it would make more sense if you drove in the front seat, but I mean, I don't really know how these things work. So you're not able to drop the nuke or anything while you're flying. I mean, obviously. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to switch seats and drop the nuke. This would have been very helpful if I had somebody else to record with me, but again, nobody really wants to record with me this time of day. So what we're gonna do, I guess we'll hover right here. Okay, this is gonna lag me like crazy. I'll probably end up crashing or something. Let me turn down my settings real fast. We're gonna, we're gonna turn these down to medium, 
just because the nuke does a lot of lag to your PC. I know it's not going to look too pretty, uh, but for the most part, uh, turn that off, turn that to medium. For the most part, it will uh, it'll show you the basics of the nuke. It's not going to look pretty, as I said, but it'll... What? what freak. Okay, there we go. So we're flying, and now I'm going to switch seats. Ready for this, guys? Boom, and drop the nuke. How do I, how do I drop the nuke? Okay, wait, that's not... What? I don't really know how to drop the nuke. Wait, maybe if I go in F3? Oh, there's a third C. Okay. Okay, I figured out how it works now. Okay, gotta get up. So basically, what you have to do is you have to sit in the third seat, which is right there on the back. I did not know that existed. I would think you'd have to sit in the front. So basically, on the front, there's a Nike Rev or whatever. And then on the back, you can drop a nuke. So I'm gonna fly up really high and then drop the nuke, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So ready? F3. Drop the nuke. Drop the nuke. How do I drop the nuke? How do I drop the nuke? What the heck, dude? How does this work? I don't know how this works. Maybe you have to be in, like, first person? Okay, yep, you have to be in first person. Oh, God. Am I still alive? How did I live? What the heck, dude? Um. Well, I just survived. For some reason. I, I do not know how that just happened. Okay, guys, I think I figured it out. You have to be in first person. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I don't even know how I didn't lag or anything. But for some reason... Oh, this looks terrible in low settings. Jeez. Okay, it's like a... It's like a turkey net or something. I don't even know if that's a thing. But it looks like we killed a bunch of the trees. Somehow we survived that. I do not know how that's possible. But I guess I'm gonna fly up high and I'll show you guys how this works. So what you have to do is while you're flying, you have to have somebody sitting in F3, third person. Now you have a little gun and what you do is you aim and it actually shoots the nuke. So as you can tell, boom, the nuke blew up. Okay, I figured out why I didn't die. I turned off bleeding. But as you guys could tell, so whenever you're in third person, you shoot the nuke, and this happens, so you can just bomb people while you're flying. This would be absolutely, like, amazing for roleplay and other things. But guys, that is the nuclear crocodile. Again, I will put a link in the description below. And now we're going to move on to the final helicopter pack for today's video. Okay guys, so the third and final mod pack that we're going to be looking at today is called Arthur's Civil Hueys. Now, as you guys probably know, in Vanilla Unturned, there are two versions of the Huey. There's the Desert and there's the Forest Huey. And they're basically just red, I mean, sorry, they're basically just Desert and Forest themed. They're green and they're tan. That's really all there is. Well, in this mod pack, you can actually have Civil Hueys, which have seats in the back with, like, little windows and everything. And they have multiple colors. So basically, all he did was he changed the big gaping hole in the back in order to have two windows where you could actually sit. And he added another row of seats, and then he changed the colors and all the regular civilian car colors. So in this mod pack, there are a total of 7 helicopters. Uh, starting out with the black one, it has an ID of 200. The blue one has an ID of 201. The green one has an ID of 202. The orange one has an ID of 203. The red one, 204. The white one is 205. The yellow one is 206. And finally, the purple one, which I accidentally spawned on top of a car, is 207. So in the video, I think we're going to end up flying either the blue or the red one. Uh, considering the last helicopter was red, I guess we're gonna do the blue one. Now, they're basically just regular Hueys, you know, except for, again, there's no gaping hole in the back, and instead there's a second row of seats, and then again, of course, different colors. So I guess we're gonna get in the seat of the blue one. It probably sounds the same, that's my guess. It's kind of like a simplistic style mod pack. I actually really hope Nelson adds these in the new Russia map. They're really awesome. Uh, by the way, little some self-advertising. I did talk about some details about the Russia map. I will put a link to that video in the description below. Uh, but I really hope he adds these. I love the civilian helicopters, you know, you have a little bit more protection from, uh, from people shooting at you and stuff. They're not really made to attack people. They're kind of just to ride around in, cruise around and stuff like that. So I really do like these helicopters. Enough talking, we're going to go ahead and get inside. So it appears that it does sound exactly the same as the regular helicopters. Probably handles the same too, so my guess is that this is just a mod that, you know, looks cool. Kind of like a new art style for the game or whatever you want to call it i would love it if nelson added these though like civilian helicopters would be one of the coolest thing ever because you know there's the what is there there's a sky crane there basically all the helicopters are either police or military helicopters so it would definitely be cool if nelson could add this but guys that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it's pretty fast of a video you know i didn't spend a lot of time on all of these but i basically showed off all the important details about all three of these mods so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy any time feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Peace.